All right, well, I'm all alone. Gotta be honest, I've been kind of looking forward to a day on my own, so as much as I like to talk and all that stuff, I am, I do get overloaded after a while and I need a break. So I'm actually a little bit of a uh, introvert. People would probably laugh at that, but let's see. You don't believe me, but it's the truth. After a while, it's just... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around, kind of check everything out with where we ended up and have a, get a game plan for today. Well, let's update. So the pool. So Aaron went back to Missouri. The weather really messed us up. Uh, so he's going to come back roughly about two weeks-ish. So I've got till then to build that wall, come across with the little connecting wall and drill the holes and go ahead and put the penetrations in for all the plumbing. So I decided I'm gonna stack this one all the way so I can show, you know, what our height's gonna look like, what it looks like to use the bracing, just the whole deal. So that's kind of cool about this deal. You, know, you can do it in sections if you want. So I brought down more of the eight inch pieces. They're on the tractor over there and i'm gonna open those go ahead and open them all up i'm kind of learning what works best for me which may be you know different than what's best for you but cool our epoxy is set up for where i had to drill those that's nice this is the hallway so we still have to cut our door but you'll walk walk through here this is plenty wide i am going to do the door in the middle because we're going to have movie posters that kind of lead you into the theater. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I've still got to phone that down. I went around with the beep beep yesterday and it was all how it needed to be. So I've got to phone that. I'm gonna go ahead and stage things a little better. You know, we had so many people work and we kind of had stuff everywhere. If you saw the other videos, we put corners in first and you feel to that. So I can go ahead and get a second level up everywhere that we didn't, which is really just right in here, everywhere else we got. And then finish foaming, rebar set out, and then I should have enough forms down here to keep me busy. So that'll be kind of nice roll. Radiuses are the hardest part. By now you would have seen the video on how to make those, but really it's the first one, because once you get the first one done, the rest of them, the delay is doing your cuts. So you lay them out, do your cuts, and then you stack it like normal. Uh, we've already got the boards cut, so yeah. This first run is what takes the longest. So I'd say we probably have a day in getting all the radiuses ready. Uh, and what I mean by ready is it, like you see it with one row ran. Uh, I'll probably spend a day on that. So radiuses definitely add to your time, but they're cool. So here's what it is. We'll get those done. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them and stack a set of them ready to go. And then I just carry in what I need. I'll have more help during the week, but this is on Sunday when I'm filming this. I'm just kind of getting a few things done. When I set the bracing, that will also give me my scaffolding. So I'll be able to work from that or I can of course work from a ladder. So after that, the limiting factor is the rebar. So a lot of people that are doing these now are using like a helix core or a uh, fiber and they're not even using rebar. I decided not to go that route, but I do see that where that would obviously be a lot faster because he wouldn't be stopped to put rebar. My nephew's coming back into town Thursday. If you remember him, Dalton from last year, last spring break. So he tends to spend the spring breaks here. So he's coming back and uh, nice relaxing spring break. I'm gonna put him to work. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty fast. That was like 15 panels put together real quick. So then I can just carry them as I need them in there instead of stopping and opening and all that. So a little bit of prep work goes a long way. And uh, that's it. So now I'm going to get in here and start doing this.
All right, it's the end of the day. I put probably about three hours of work actually on this part. Went ahead and put some of the braces up. So that's uh, what, five courses up. We gotta go to seven. I'll go ahead and put the brick ledge up on the next course. And then course number seven will be the final one. Yeah, started getting, getting out of here. And everything that's done is done. That means it's got uh, rebar in it, the corners tied, any clips, stuff like that. So all that's done. Cut my door out here. I left some extra uh, so that I can come in with a, I'm not sure, I might do it with a circular saw. I'm going to come in and put up, I've got a plate for doing, you know, cuts on edges. So I might just make that nice and straight. This is going to be a cased opening here. I started my storyboard. Do not cut. We'll see how long that lasts. So that's where the basement floor is relative to the footing. Six inches and then the top of the doors. I got to look back, but I believe the architect has the top of the windows even at the top of the door. So that'll probably be top of both, but just to make sure. So as any things get added on, I'll add them to the storyboard and you carry this around and just makes it easier for fast calculations. What else did I work on here? I think that's about it. I carried more material down. I carried more braces down. Chris came out for a bit, picked up the mini, but he cleaned out and pulled back. Uh, where the steps are for the pool a little bit we talked about grade and where we thought things were end up retaining walls and all that kind of fun stuff there's definitely going to be a retaining wall on the right and i like the idea he came up with uh which is to i'm, I'm giving him credit in this video which is to come off that corner and curve it so kind of at the front of uh that basement wall you know, could have like a plan or whatever, but the, it would drop off and then you go down steps until where it's flat down there. So we'll see. getting ready to set this one up and then i'll put a couple here on this wall and then this room will be done bracing wise just uh wanted to show you this though so you can kind of get an idea of putting one together i've had the time lapse running but i wanted to uh show you so let me show you what a finished one looks like so this is the one piece brace so it comes 
all you know squinched up like this one is right now okay so I'll go over there I'll show you all the unfold everything but once it's open and lay like a two by eight on it some people do different things you can run two two by eights um, you could do I guess you could do I mean you could easily do a two by twelve it just depends on what you want to do I try to get um, use wood that I'm going to be able to use elsewhere because all the exterior and the floors of the house are concrete, but there's still um, wood like transitioning to the attic, stuff like that. So, got different places I can use some up, or we'll save it. And we've got uh, a couple more ICF houses on the list to build. So, anyway, so you can. You decide what you want to use for your scaffolding, whether it's two by eight or whatever that you're going to be able to use elsewhere in the house later. And a two by four fits down in here and you can run a screw in so you can build your own railing. They do sell a piece that's metal that slips in here and a pin goes through it just like uh, these pins so that you can just pin it in if you don't want to use two by four. So that's an option. Let me set this up, show you what I do. So, got a magnetic level, so I stick that onto the side of it first. I lay it face down, okay? Then, I'm gonna come over here, and this is the top pin that is right here, which is what keeps it, you know, folded up. I pull that, there you go. So you pull it out. Now, you've got a couple options with this. You can go ahead and just stick it right there. I usually put it in my pocket and use it for the next part. As you lift it, see that part pops down. And that comes out and clicks in. So, then this part is done. All right, so you just walk it up to the wall. And I've got it, you know, it's marked. Right, so I had already preloaded one of the screws so that when I got it in place and it was plumb, I went ahead and ran one in. So then you just run additional ones in. And then this pin pops out at the bottom, okay? And I usually just stick that one right back where it was. And then one I put in my pocket earlier is what I use this next part for. So you decide how far out you want it to come. And then, let's see, there's a little slot there. Take the pin. In this case, I've been taking the hammer drill and I drill a hole until I hit the dirt and then I drive a uh, piece of rebar down in there. But I could also do tap cons, which is what I'll do on the other floors. So you got some options. You can do rebar, you can do tap cons. I guess that's, there you go, that's the options. And then it's uh, ready to just, I'll get that down, I'm ready to put a, uh, Another uh, two by eight up there. And like I said, I've got a couple here I wanna get. What I do for that is the only difference is as I'm putting it up, instead of waiting till that's mounted to, to release the pin for this, I go ahead and release this pin to begin with. And that way I can finagle it over this brace and then tie it in. So that's what I'll do for one of these. I have two here, one, Kind of in there, one here, 